welcome to this. Uh, one of my favourite writers, this Pops 100. Anybody from UK old school would recognise this picture probably. Nice picture of him taken about 1988, I think it was, at Bridlington. Um, yeah, it's such a great picture, isn't it? Real sort of iconic picture of Pops. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it. There's, this is his 300th piece. And as you can see, it's a self-portrait on the right there. And he's got dreads in it because he's Rastafari by this time. And uh, this is about 19... Or is it 1990? Correct me if I'm wrong. Might might be 91, might be 92. But it's around that kind of time. This is the piece when it's finished. Look at those dedications on the left. Mostly his crew, which was killed in action platoon. All those deads there. Um, beautiful Union Jack in um, uh, red, gold and green on the right. Absolutely fantastic. Such a beautiful piece that. Just a great piece. It's 300 piece. This is the home piece. This is a seminal piece of 1990. So 32 years ago he's painting this. You've got Charlie Brown characters. Really crisp, beautiful lines. Uh, you've got photorealism on the right. You've got sort of concept background in the background there. All done with either homemade stencil caps or, you know, clogged up um, tips because, you know, we didn't have interchangeable caps and stuff in those days. Look at this for photorealism. So our paint was rubbish in them days. And uh, it was mostly car paint and very watery in the UK. And uh, interestingly, lent itself to doing photorealism really well, apparently. I never did photorealism, so I couldn't tell you. But the guys who did said it was ace for doing photorealism. This is the help piece. Look at that beautifully sprayed piece. You know, the letters don't seem like anything special, but the, it is absolutely immaculate. And look at the fill on it. Look at the detail on the fill of it. Judo was his brother, by the way, and Junior Judo, I think, was when his brother had his first son. I think I think that's what it is. If I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments. Um, beautiful sort of Pops character, putting a gun to his own head there. And this idea of war vets, and he's, he's, so he's working towards a photorealism there. That's about 88, he's painting that. Uh, on Spiders Youth Club in Clifton. Clifton Estate in Nottingham, England, that's where he's from, in Nottingham. Uh, beautiful sherry piece there. Look how rough this is, though. Look like you know, it's slapped over two other pieces there. It was very Wild West graph in those. I mean, you think what graph is like? You think there's beef in graph nowadays? The amount of beef. Everybody was permanently at war at those days. Uh, you know, totally. You know, pieces over each other, tagging over each other. The, you know, nothing changes, right? Nothing changes. The with love piece. This is another famous piece from that time. Uh, seminal piece. Everybody around from that time remembers these pieces because they're all in like Hip Hop Connection magazine. And uh, even though we had no internet or anything like that, they were around in magazines and stuff and people pass the photos around. This is one of the Blood, Sweat and Tears series he did. And uh, that's that's a self-portrait of him stylized on the left-hand side there. Stylized character of Pops there. Just fantastic, holding his little dog tags for a KIA platoon. Just brilliant. He was brilliant everything, characters, letters, you name it. Look how rough this looks, but it's gorgeous. The portrait of Haile Selassie, done in one colour. That's a one colour can on there. And then the Pops piece on the left-hand side. Uh, and all the, the sort of all the writing and the tagging up and everything is just rough and raw and beautiful. Uh, another Blood, Sweat and Tears piece there. So episode 5, he says, I think he did like six of them. Maybe he did more. Uh, I'm not an expert on him. Um, I know him, uh, I know Rich, he's a really, really cool guy, like him a lot, um, such a top man, he doesn't do um, graffiti anymore, doesn't uh, doesn't paint with spray cans anymore, but he does do, he does massive paintings and murals, uh, somebody's tried to buff this piece on the right hand side as you can see there, but I've failed, uh, I'm happy to say, look how crisp the lines are though, crisp beautiful lines every single time with him, and a lot of these pieces by the way, some of them are legal, but quite a lot of them are illegal. And he's delivering crisp, beautiful lines illegally in the night, mostly in the dark. I mean, you know, when you see what a lot of his contemporaries were doing, lo lovely Zima piece, that one there. Um, was Zima his sister or his girlfriend? Can't remember. This 321 piece, that for me is just immaculate. Look how crisp the lines are. Beautiful, lovely form on them letters. But look at the film. Look at that, homemade stencil caps or just clogged up caps because we didn't have interchangeables and stuff. Little self-portrait on the right there with the Rastafari in the number one there. 92, 
beautiful. This is called the pop star or the pop star. Um, I think he'd done this when he got out of jail, I think, the first time. 88. 1988. Uh, lovely background on it and everything. Very nice. You know, self portrait again. Very famous piece, this one. Seminal UK old school graph. I just wanted to zero in on this piece as well, which was a portrait of Halo Jones that he uh that he done um that he did um in eighty eight as well. A Halo Jones, great character from two thousand A D, amazing story. If you don't know it, check it out. Such a great character. She was a sort of seminal character, iconic character in the eighties often for graphers. This is a smoke smoke piece. Again, beautifully sprayed. Totally illegal. See what it says in that O? Bad boys move in silence. Is that what it says? <laughs> My eyesight isn't good enough to say. Anyway, it is something like that because I remember it from that time. But an illegal piece. This is uh, like a three-story piece. Big giant piece that was painted in uh, a Clinton Clifton Youth Club in South Nottingham. And... Uh, I think all, all legal, Mom Squad and KIA, they were the two crews. Um, were they Masters of Menace? Can't remember. Anyway, something like that. Look at that. And just that, 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 it's so early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, this piece. You know, just a piece on a piece on a piece on a piece. Everything's gone over it. Look at the bombing all around it and everything's so rough and gnarly. And it's how Graf used to be all the time. There weren't too many production teams in those days. No, there weren't too many people pumping out. Immaculate Productions, King Touch. This is another is um of his names from that time. And uh, again, illegal. Look at the fades on the cracks. Look at how beautiful those cracks are done. Absolutely gorgeous. Try doing it yourself. You know that quick on a chrome. <laughs> really beautiful. This is his um tribute to Scheme. Very famous piece. The uh, the Sons of the Ghetto piece. He done this all in chrome and uh, chrome and black, obviously. There, as a tribute to scheme. Again, immaculate technique and some of that stuff there. Loads of messaging all over it and everything. And finally, we get this commission piece, this commission character, very reminiscent of Bode, obviously, because we're all influenced by Bode. Look how beautifully this is sprayed, and what beautiful form it has. This is a gorgeous character. It's gorgeous. Absolutely perfect perfect character handful of colors you know all that pops 100 legend <laughs>